Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've been here before, then you know who I am. If you haven't been here before, then my name is Tasha Marie and welcome! Today I'm doing a sort of vlog-like video and I'm going to be baking! Yay! Going to be making what they call the tray school cake. It's basically just a tray cake with the icing and the sprinkles on top and I'm also going to be making some meat pâtés. So if you fancy watching and seeing how I get on then carry on watching. Right, so apparently we need butter, which I've got, casting sugar, or caster sugar, which I've got, vanilla ex extract, which I have, three eggs, which are over there, and self-raising flour. And then for decoration, I need icing sugar, which I have here, and sprinkles. And it does say food colouring if you fancy, but I don't really want food colouring, so yeah. So I need to then preheat your oven to 160 degrees and grease line a baking tray. So let's Pop do the oven on 160 degrees and I'll let that preheat while I butter a baking tray. on it I'm gonna go wash my hair okay so next it says cream and but cream the butter and sugar together until it's light and fluffy add the vanilla if you have it then one egg at a time mixing mixing each egg in well add in the flour a bit at a time and fold it in gently put all the cake mix into a grease and lined tin smooth the edges out or smooth, bleh, smooth the mix out to the edges Okay, so now I'm going to cream the butter and the sugar together. So here is my scales and I need 200 grams of butter. to be 175 grams of caster sugar. Cream the butter and sugar together until it's light and fluffy. So what does that mean? Do I just mix it together with my hands? Ew! my hands right so now it says add vanilla if you have it so I've got a teaspoon I've got to add one teaspoon of vanilla okay if you have it then add one egg at a time how many eggs was it Three, so I need one, two, three eggs. Add one egg at a time, mixing in each egg well. So, that's one. time and fold in gently so I haven't actually got the flour out ready yet so we need 200 grams of flour it as needs well. to be 200 grams of flour oh gosh that is 200 grams of flour so now it says, add a bit of the flour in at a time and fold gently. Oh, 
I've never understood this whole folding thing. I'm just gonna mix it. Or is this folding? So that is ready and now it says put all your cake mix into a greased and lined tray smooth the edges out put the tray in the oven and put the tray into the oven and back for around 25 minutes or until the cake is golden you can put a sharp knife in the middle of the cake if the, cut, the knife comes out clean it is done la 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 so Time to put it in the oven. Let's put the cake in the center of the oven. Say see you in 25 minutes. That's the cake in the oven for 25 minutes or until it's golden brown. So I will be back in 25 minutes to let you know how it's come out. Fingers crossed. Now it's time to clean up all the mess. It's time to get the cake out and try it. I'm nervous. Ta da! Let's get. I think that means it's cooked. Yummy, yum. So the cake is cooling down. Um, so now, while I'm waiting, I'm going to do everything to prepare for my meat pâtés. I've got minced meat, onions, pastry. So yeah, let's get on and make some meat patties. So first I need to cook some mince and pop the onion in with it. Then I'm gonna add gravy to it and that's gonna be the inside of my meat patties. So let's get on and cook some mince. Okay, so as it's starting to cook, I'm gonna add some onion in it yes i'm being very lazy and i'm using as the chopped onions let's just sprinkle some of them in don't know how many i'm going to need at the minute mix them in well i think that's actually good amount okay so now the minced meat is cooked i'm gonna make the gravy so I'm just pouring, you wanna have to make gravy, but just pouring some hot water into a jug. Right, I think that is going to be perfect. Okay, so now it's back on here and I'm just going to add the gravy to the mix. I think that is absolutely perfect. I just let that simmer away for a couple more minutes while I prep my little pies. Okay, so because I'm a lazy sod, I am using this Just Roll puff pastry sheet, which basically comes like this. and you just roll it out and there you have some nice puffed pastry. But I am gonna make it a little bit more flat. Because I need it a little bit more flat than that. Well, I need the pastry to be a bit more thinner than that. So I am just going to Roll the pastry out. I 
I'm using my Minnie Mouse cut as my cutter because I have nothing round to cut it with. So I'm gonna make, so there's one, two, so there's 12 there. Okay, so next we're gonna have to grease the baking tray. I am using a muffin tin only because I don't have any like ones with smaller dips in it, like Yorkshire pudding ones or anything. So this is the one that I'm using. It should be fine. I'm hoping it's gonna be okay. So okay, so next I'm gonna put all my Bases and oh my god, they're singing. And then next, basically, we just need to fill them. And then we basically need to put the lids on them. Ta-da! They look bloody awful. Okay, and now I've just basically got a beaten egg and I'm just going to paint them. Oh dear. Well, they look absolutely horrific. I don't even know, I can't even explain what they look like actually. So I'm just gonna stick these in the oven and see how they come out, but I'm not expecting much. I'm gonna pop them in the oven for about 15 minutes, I think. 15 to 20 minutes till they're about golden brown. <sighs> to be honest, I haven't got much high hopes for them. They don't normally come out like that, but I haven't made them for years. So we'll just see what they look like in 15 minutes. So I'll be back in a minute. So as the first lot was a kind of a fail, even though they're in the oven cooking, I don't know what they look like yet, but I've done a sort of second batch, which I have done like this, which I'm gonna show you how I've done now. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is get one of these and just the egg yolk around the edge, pop it on there. And then I'm also just gonna fill these, but it is gonna be just in the center like that. Then I'm gonna get a second one of these. Again, I'm just going round the edge. Just unhappy that was the timer to tell me that the ones in the oven are done. So I'm gonna have a little look at them now. But then basically, that is how I do them ones. So let's just check the ones in the oven. And okay, so the ones in the oven um, are not done yet. They're not looking too bad. So again, I'm just gonna repeat that process.
I'm just patching them ones up just because they all look like they were about to break. So that's that and then I'm gonna pop them ones in the oven and see how them ones turn out. Okay, so that is the first batch out. They're looking a little bit wonky. <laughs> I'm gonna get the second lot in and we'll have a see what they look like and then we'll look at them all together. Deary down. Hoping these ones go better. So, I'll be back in 20 minutes. So it's time to ice the cake and I am so excited. It's properly cooled down. So let's mix the ice in together and pop it on the cake and see what it looks like. I'm so excited. This is the best part because I love icing. Okay, so once it's cool, mix icing sugar with water or milk to make icing pour over the cake. So how much do I have to mix? Ah. So 225 grams of ice and sugar and then two to three tablespoons of water and build up gradually so your icing isn't too thin. Right, okay, so we need to measure out 225 grams of ice and sugar then. So I need to get my scales back out. Let's put that to the side for a minute. So the scales are back out. I need a bowl again now. Well, this cooking malarkey gives you so many dishes. Right. Come on. Right. So that is zero. So it should be 225 grams of icing sugar. Should I be doing it in a little bowl? Yeah, that'll be fine, won't it? Yeah. Okay, maybe I should have done this in a big bowl. Okay, let me just change into a big bowl. How much icing are we going to be putting on it? Right, so 200, whoa, that's too much now. Ha. 225 grams. So basically I've just got to add spoonfuls of water to it. Just going to get, so if I get a little If I get a mug of some water, okay? Can you come in? Yeah. I finished it. Have you? Yeah. Look how nice it looks. Oh wow! That actually, it's quite nice, doesn't it? That looks so cool. Let me show it. Yeah. Show your friends. Oh god! Look what Patrick's just made. He's just built his own keyboard for his, oh, for his gaming computer. How cool is that? Oh, wow, well, look, I can look a little keyboard with a flower on it. And I know it probably looks really easy, but it's not. It's a really long process because I don't really understand it. But he has to take all the keys off, then he has to like solder them and lube them up and cushion them and whatever he does to them. It's not a gaming keyboard, it's a programming keyboard. Oh, it's not a gaming keyboard, it's a programming keyboard. Okay, so I got that wrong, it's a programming keyboard. But, how cute is it? And it's got my favourite colour on it, orange. This is so good, well done. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah, I'm really proud of it. I'm really proud of you, that looks really cool. It looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, well done, baby. Thank you. I'm proud of patties? you. There you go. That's the failed knee patties. They look alright, what are you on about? Oh, do they? I think they look fine. That's good then. And then the other ones are in there, but I'm just doing the icing now, okay? They look a bit like scones, scones, don't they? Look how fit they are. Why did you come in the kitchen? <laughs> All right, I'm anyway, back to the icing. So I've got to add, I'm going to put in, two, I'm going to put in that at the moment, and then I'm just going to mix it and see how that goes. And then we'll go from there. Huh? Yeah. Come here? Yeah. 
Do you think that's thick enough? Yeah. Well, it dries, doesn't it? Yeah, or well, do you think it'll be too runny? Maybe a little bit more powder, I think, possibly. Have you got any more? Yeah, I've got a lot. Oh, mate, it's going to be like back in year one. I can remember, right? In year one, do you know when he used to sell the dining room? Okay, you used to do it for an apple. No. Yeah, you've told me this no, story. No, 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 I stopped I used, I used to put... No. Oh, no, you actually, I'll tell her like another story, another story. Yeah. So you used to put the tables and chairs out and put them in and help out in the kitchen because they always used to give you an extra cake on your dinner. Yeah. And then once they started giving you extra apples... I stopped doing it. You stopped doing it. <laughs> I remember that story. Put down. Just get a plastic bag. Up there, baby. Oh. Yeah, right. I think that is perfection. Let's pop it on the cake. Okay, this is the finished product of the cake. And if I'm honest, I think it looks really nice. So, what do I do now? Do I have to wait for it to set or? I don't know what I have to do. Do I have to put it in the fridge to set? Don't eat it. Sorry, I was just mad at it. You wait for it to set. Do I put it in the fridge? Or you can't even answer me because it's not live. Oh, I don't know what to do. Is that icing? Yeah. It looks so good though. Oh, that's set on the... F no, not like hard. Oh. I need it to go like hard. Oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, okay, I think I'm going to pop it in the fridge for a couple of minutes to see what happens. So what I'm meant to do. So I've got the second lot of meat patties out of the oven and I must say they look a lot better and a lot better shape. So I'll show you As them. you can see, these are the ones that have just come out of the oven and they look more like meat patties and they are better shapes than these disastrous ones. This one here opened up a little bit. That's the one that I was patching up. I was expecting that to happen. The layer was a bit too thin. But this is what my final ones look like. So I've got the first disastrous ones which i will try and eat still but hey ho and then this is the second ones that actually look like meat patties and i'm actually quite impressed with so yeah that's the final ones so just a little update for you all um if you can hear that noise in the background that's my air fryer i'm just cooking some um, chips for our tea so that's probably what you can hear but yeah, just a little update. Um, I've had some meat patties and they are spot on. Even the ones that don't look very nice and the ones that didn't come out properly actually taste nice. They taste just like the other ones do. They just don't look so pretty. So they were a complete success. I'm really happy with them. And um, there'll be something that we can just munch on over the next couple of days, these little snacks. But we haven't tried the cake yet. We're going to have some after tea. So I will be back to let you know before I sign this vlog off to let you know what the cake tastes like. What? How's the cake? <coughs> Lovely. Are you enjoying it? Mm hmm. Was it nice? Bloody handsome. Oh, beautiful. Just like me. No. No, seriously, though, was it nice? Oh, it's fucking lovely, yeah. Don't swear. Oh, shit, sorry, I'm recording again. <laughs> no. It was very nice. Good, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Would you like me to do it again? Oh, yeah. That's the issue is there isn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Looks like the cake was a success. So, we've had some of the cake and it is spot on. It was lovely. Just having a lay down at the moment, catching up on some of my TV shows. You enjoyed the cake though, didn't you? It was lovely. I made, yeah, yeah. I made commissions and more. Make commissions and more? I'll pay you. Oh, right. But yeah, so it was a great success. So that is good. I'm super pleased. Looks like I'll be making some more of that. Do you know all I can see in the, in the back of this video is your egghead? <laughs> it's not an egghead. Oh look, he's getting in the grill. It is an egghead. It's definitely an egghead. If you think it's an egghead, let me know. Put down um. in the comments. All right, calm down, book McBoldy. McBoldster. It's actually Grant Mitchell. <laughs> oh dear. Oh god, this is not a flattering view.
Yeah. Say hi to everyone, considering they absolutely love you. Hi, look at that chunk risen up my hair right there. Oh, wow. Hi. Oh, please ignore the white dot on the wall. We moved things around yesterday and we've had to fill it. <laughs> we just need to sand it down and paint it. I'd love to do it today, but it's his it job for tomorrow. I'm not very much. I'm not very much. Say hello to them because they all love you. Hi. Oh, he's so boring. He touches friends. <sighs> I've just remembered I was just about to get ready and go to bed and I completely forgot that I haven't really finished this vlog or said goodbye or anything so yeah this is the end of today's little cook slash bake with me vlog something again completely different but I'm trying to fill my time and my YouTube with videos to entertain you guys so you can watch something while you're at home and obviously it's different because I'm so used to doing hauls and that is normally what my YouTube is about but I promise you, with, once this is all over, I will be back with hauls and it will be amazing. But until then, we're going to have loads of little videos like this. Hope you enjoy it. But please let me know if you do. And if you do, then please like and subscribe. Also, um, if there's anything that you do want to see, then please let me know in the comments. If there's anything that you're interested, if you want more videos with this little egghead. Mm -hmm. Or what What do you want? Let me know. Let me know in the comments what you guys fancy seeing. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.